What's going on? What did you do? Just forget it, okay? I shouldn't have said anything. I'm your father. Whatever it is you can tell me. And who knows? Maybe I can help you. I'll help you if you don't let me. Don't worry about it. Come on. Give me a chance. I know I wasn't much of a dad all those years, but I want to fix that. Let me help you. It would mean a lot if you trust me. See that girl right there? The one with the glasses? Yeah. I ruined her life. So who is she? A nursing student at GH. Why do you think you ruined her life? I don't think I ruined it. I know I did. How? I made her believe she killed one of her patients. After the patient died, I made it look like Sabrina had given him the wrong medication. So she thinks she killed him. When really, he died from a stab wound. So... This Sabrina, did she do something to hurt you, something to... No, no, I, I don't even know her. Then why did you do it? So I got all... I tried to tell you that I'm a terrible person. I mean, setting up Sabrina to believe she killed someone is just the latest worst example. Well, even terrible people generally have a motive, so there has to be a reason why you did what you did to Sabrina. My doctor hates her. Your doctor? Are you two friends? Oh, God, no, I can't stand her. Okay, I'm a little confused. Why would you purposefully ruin someone's life for a doctor that you can't stand? I don't have a choice. She knows my secret. What secret? You're gonna have to fill me in here, Maxie. Because it sounds like this doctor's blackmailing you. Dr. Westbourne said she would tell everything that she knows unless I agreed to help her ruin Sabrina's life. Well, then we're back to the big question. What is this secret? Why are you allowing this doctor to control your life? Patrick. On second thought, this father-daughter bonding moment is not exactly working out. You have more important things to do, like save the world, and I have my own life, which you never really cared about before. So. Sorry, too late. What's too late? You confided in me. You're my daughter, you're miserable, and I'm gonna help you no matter how long it takes. Now, what is this secret? What has this doctor got over you? You're gonna hate me. It's not possible. By the way, I'm far from perfect. If anybody knows about making mistakes, a lifetime's worth, it's me. Dad, this is so much more than a mistake. It's unforgivable. Maxie. Dr. Westmore knows the baby I'm carrying doesn't belong to Dante and Lulu. Have you heard from... I to do something good, something generous. I should have known I would screw it up. Slow down one thing at a time here. If the baby's not Dante and Lulu's, who are the parents? Spinelli and me. I just carried Dante and Lulu's baby on New Year's Eve. It was the same night that Spinelli thought his girlfriend had dumped him. We met up by accident. He was drunk, and, and I was a wreck. And we slept together. But Spinelli loves Ellie. And by the time I found out I was pregnant, they were back together. And then she was paralyzed in an accident, and I mean, there was no way he was gonna leave her then. So this is about loyalty that Spinelli feels obligated to this girl? That's what I thought, or, or what I wanted to think. But Spinelli chose Ellie. I mean, she's a genuinely good person. She's funny and, and smart. And I can see how much she cares about him. And even now, when it looks like she's gonna be okay, I, I just can't destroy them. I can't do it. I, I didn't get a chance to tell Dante and Lulu that I miscarried because they were away. And I was pregnant again by the time they came back. And I thought that it was like this miracle that I could just keep my mouth shut and Dante and Lou could have the baby that they wanted. 
and Spinelli could feel free to be with Ellie without feeling obligated to me or a child that he didn't plan to have. And I thought everyone would be happy. And then my doctor found out and she threatened to tell unless I did what she wanted. And what she wanted was for me to sabotage Sabrina. <laughs> Do you think I'm awful? No, I don't. I think you're amazing. You're my daughter and I love you. And I believe you've been sacrificing your happiness for everyone else's. <sighs> with my decision and dr westbourne wasn't thrilled but i mean she was keeping the secret about the baby until suddenly she insisted that i mess with sabrina or she'd tell sounds like a woman who uses leverage whenever she can find it oh, there's part of me that wanted to call her bluff i mean she's a doctor she could probably lose her license at this point but i don't want to risk it i really want dante and lulu to have this baby dad what about sabrina yeah, Sabrina. Uh -huh. I'll take care of that. How? I'm your father. I may not have been around for most of your life, but I'm here now. And you're very lucky, because I am very experienced at dirty tricks. Let's go. Do you think Helena casted on... Now what, Maxie? I can just see it on your face. Once again, you're in crisis. Maxie's not the one in crisis. You are. And who the hell are you? I'm Maxie's father, her dad. And your little reign of terror, it's over. Brett, mind if I call you Brett? Uh, it's... Good. You're gonna stop blackmailing my daughter. And you will never tell, think of telling, or even threaten to tell Dante and Lulu that the baby Maxie's carrying isn't theirs. Love Free of this plan, you will never reveal that Maxie's carrying Spinelli's baby. And part four of this plan, you gotta clean up this mess you created with Sabrina Santiago. And why would I do that? Paul, a fixer. I get paid to kill bad guys. And from where I'm standing, you're a bad guy.